Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic 99. I want to thank you all so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. If you like my videos, please press the like button because more people will get to see it. I'm doing a giveaway once I get to 2.5 thousand subscribers, which will be a free reading or a free deck from me. So please keep liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I love your comments. Thank you so much. So today I'm doing a Divine Masculine Energy Check-In. Okay, so we're going to look at where the masculine is at right now. So a lot of cards came out. So we've got Hostilities. Goddess of the Moon. Woman Holding a Heart. Angel of Strength. Financial Constraints. Seventh Chakra. Victory. Blossom in Abundance, All Tied Up, Attachment, Third Chakra, Sixth Chakra, Appreciation, Cornucopia, The Thinking Man, Adjacent Possibilities, Fourth Chakra, Angel Balance and The Daughter Romance. So you can see there's a lot of healing going on here with the chakra energies. There's your masculine is going through a lot of healing right now, which is needed. So we're going to clarify these. So we've got hostility. So maybe you're on your masculine, parted terms, not in a good way. Or this could be within himself, or this could be within his life. There's some sort of hostile environment maybe he's in, some sort of difficult situation. So let's check with the tarot. Yeah, we've got Eight of Cups here. So this could have been that one or both of you walked away, I feel, from the other. Okay, because, you know, this wasn't going anywhere, this connection at that time. And somebody walked away. It could be you, feminines, could be the masculine. Um, because you were not getting your, you know, what you needed in that connection. So we've got Goddess of the Moon energy and we've got Six of Wands. So this is passion, isn't it? This is having that success, that victory. And I feel the masculine very much gets in touch with his feelings and what he's wanting with that moon energy. It brings it into focus. And we've got a very powerful moon energy coming up on the 27th of February. I'm going to do a reading about that separately soon. Um, we've got woman holding a heart. So maybe he's aware that you have this love for him. And we've got the, the knight of coins. So that is that slow moving energy. So it does look like he has an offer here. Okay, he wants to make the offer, but it's that slow moving energy and he's given it a lot of thought right now. We've got Angel of Strength. I feel he's really gained in strength. He's really gained in spiritual strength and emotional strength, okay, in this period of separation. We've got the Tower. So, you know, possibly you've had Tower moments, he's had Tower moments, and, you know, shaky foundations, spirit came in to shake up his world because he was going in the wrong direction. Things needed to change. We've got financial constraints. So I feel he's had a lot of worry, money worries. He's been had a lot of difficult times with finances and he's been focusing on his finances right now. And we've got the page of wands energy, but he's feeling that passion. He's feeling that passion for his feminine. He wants to message his feminine to give her a message of passion. But he's been focusing on his finances. And with the seventh chakra, that is the crown chakra. That is that awakening energy. We've got Archangel Uriel here. So he's he's possibly gone for an awakening. He's connecting to source, to the divine, to his guides, his angels right now. And he's, he's listening to guidance. And we've got Nine of Swords. So he's been through very, very difficult dark times, you know, he could have been, you know, up in his head, worrying, sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, a lot going on in his head. But he's wanting victory. So that, that is the second victory card. So yes. And two and eight is ten and that's like new beginnings. He's wanting this victory. He's wanting this success here. And we've got three of cups. Yes, he's wanting to celebrate. He's wanting to celebrate this connection with his feminine to come together and celebrate this. We've got Blossom in Abundance. So I feel he's, work, he's been working really hard on his finances 
and maybe he feels in a better place now with his finances and he feels more abundant and more in that position that he could come forward got eight of coins energy yeah he's been working very hard here on his finances to build up his finances and he's in a good stable position financially we've got all tied up but i still feel this is like the eight of swords energy he's still up in his head about this connection he's still confused he's still not sure which way to go forward here and we've got the page of swords so he's getting that he's getting to that truth he's getting to that clarity he will have clarity soon in this situation he'll or he's you know has achieved that clarity and he's feeling attachment there could be attachment um attachment disorder here there could be between both of you you could have that fear you know of being left and maybe he was attached in the past to somebody and it didn't work out and we've got somebody holding a mask so again maybe you were both not being authentic with each other at that time you were putting on a front and we've got the four of swords energy so yes he's in that healing mode is in that retreat mode he's really going within and really connecting with what it is he wants to do move before moving forward we've got the third chakra archangel shamal this is the solar plexus this is in the tummy area this is to do with your self-esteem your self-worth and we've seen over time that the masculine has suffered with this their self-esteem low self-worth self issues and they're working on this right now they're working on that energy to be in a better position and we've got the ace of coins so yes they want to be in that position of, of feeling in that good energy of self-esteem and financial abundance to come forward and make this solid offer to their feminine we've got the six chakra archangel metatron so this is their intuition this is the third eye this is really connecting with the higher self the third eye and going with their gut going with their inner guidance and we've got the death card here. So this is endings followed by new beginnings. So I feel there's going to be an end to the cycle that you've been in of this separation, no contact. And there's going to be some sort of new beginning here. Because he's appreciating the feminine now. He's seeing her for what, what this truly is. He's in that energy of appreciating her. And we've got five plus one is six, which is love. He's feeling the love, I feel, for his feminine wow and we've got the sun you bring him joy you bring him happiness he cannot deny this okay you are his son beautiful and again your abundance he feels this abundance and it's the number 11 card he feels this abundance with you okay it feels abundant in your energy and yes strength card so he's gained in strength he's really worked hard to gain the strength within himself to be able to make those changes yeah, we've got thinking man so again it's the number 10 4 and 6 is 10 so changes he's really put a lot of thought into this into what's going on and we've got the three of coins yes he's wanting to build something together he's wanting to work together in the future here and we've got adjacent possibilities so again and that's two and four that's six love so you know maybe he has got choices but he knows he needs to make a choice of what he actually wants or who he wants in his life and we've got five of wands yeah there could be some conflict here this could be in the external in his life with people we had the we started off with the hostilities which is like this energy you know maybe some conflict with people in his life you know family friends colleagues or this could be internal conflict that he's really battling internally with him so, but we've got the full chakra here archangel raphael this is a heart awakening this is a heart opening and it's the number 11 so we've got two 11 cards here okay so a lot of you are probably twin flames here um but his heart is awakening his heart is opening to love here and he sees his feminine as the empress look at that beautiful this loving nurturing woman who is abundant in all ways and he's seen your value he's seen your true value now and angel of balance i feel he's getting into balance here he's really balancing his emotions with his logic you know with that side of him and we've got five of cups just yes, because there's been disappointment there's been upset and you know he wasn't aware that two cups were still standing 
that this love was still there. There was still an opportunity for love. Okay. And we've got door to romance. So, and 33 is a power number. So he does want to take the door to romance. He does want to step through that door to romance. So what's door to romance here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, he's got that clarity. He knows what he wants. Okay, he's going to come forward with the truth. Any other messages here? Yeah, moving away from the past. Moving away from the past energies. Sailing into smoother water. Okay, leaving the past behind and, you know, when you reconnect, you know, don't obviously have a conversation maybe, but don't keep bringing the past up into your relationship. Allow the new energy to come in and then we get the emperor energy. So he's he's getting into that emperor energy here. Okay, beautiful. And then we've got the star. So I feel he sees you as that wish fulfillment. Beautiful. So what other energies? So yeah, I mean, in the past, I feel he was turning to drink or drugs, to numb his thoughts, his feelings, because it was overwhelming. And he felt that you put a spell on him because he couldn't get you out of his mind. He thought he'd been spelled, spell cast, I'm not sure the word. Um, but he's, he's realised his feelings are as deep as the ocean. He cannot deny it. And he doesn't want to hurt you. You know, he thought being involved with him, you, he would hurt you. Obviously, there was hurt here. There was heartbreak here. Um, I'm sure it wasn't intentional. But he has that sexual longing for you, that physical intimacy. And he's had past life memories. He may have had dreams about past lives that you shared or some sort of visions. And he's missing that intimacy with his feminine, OK? But it's not just about that. He has feelings. Yeah, he's missing his feminine. Craving, I want to see you again. So he, he wants to reach out because he's feeling this soul love connection. He knows that this is a special connection here. So what other energies? Yeah, so he's finding the light. Okay, he's finding the light within himself. You know, that clarity. He's he's getting that to that clarity. But he had felt overwhelmed. I mean, we had a lot of that energy. And he wasn't coping. Okay, he felt overwhelmed in his life. And he's realised that these casual hookups that he had or that you had in the past, it was it wasn't fulfilling for him. It was no there was no intimacy, no connection there. And he's seen the truth of that. And maybe he was inauthentic with you, and maybe you were as well. Maybe you were both wearing a mask at the time. There's been inner child work needed here. I feel this is on, on both parts. And ancestral healing as well. Um, this is linked into the male collective um, to do with the way that, you know, we were raised, you know, like men were in a position to be the provider and women didn't have many rights. And it was very old fashioned energy. And I feel he's coming more into the modern way of thinking and that a partnership should be equal at the end of the day. It should be both people putting the same amount of effort and time and love and energy into the connection. And he realised in the past he's made wrong choices, he's gone in the wrong direction. But we all make mistakes and that's how we learn our lessons, isn't it? Nobody is perfect. That's why we're here. He was stubborn, you know, he was stuck in his ways, maybe refused to barge in the past, but he's doing his healing. We can see that with all the chakra energy, there's a lot of healing going on. And there's a beautiful rainbow here. Okay, so he's doing that healing work right now. And he's become, coming into that energy of acceptance of self, that self-love, feeling worthy. We had the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra come up. So he's, he's getting into that good energy now. So what other feelings? Yeah, he's feeling very passionate here towards his feminine. He wants that sensuality. And he's, you know, the, the moon energy is making him realise that he has love here. And he wants to feel that joy with his feminine again. And he's been missing her. He's feeling lonely. 
but he has faith. He has faith that things will work out here. So what does he want to say? <clears throat> <coughs> you getting angry at me and being bossy gets me so effing horny. I think about you dominating me in the bedroom. I'm at your service in the bedroom and anywhere else I want you to take out all your frustration on me. So he's picking up on your frustration, maybe your anger, or disconnection. I want to get you alone and give it to you hotter than hell. He's feeling this intense pa passion, but he loves you. Look, I absolutely effing love you. So that it's love, you know, it's not just lust. And he's realised that. You make me so damn horny. Everything about you turns me on. I have practical matters and finances to deal with before we can be together. So we saw that he's working on his finances right now. It's been forever and I can't forget you. I am haunted by your presence. So, again, you know, he felt like you put a spell on him. You feel like home to me and I want to come to you, but I don't know how to right now. Okay, so there is that wanting to come forward. So I looked at these relationship cards to get some final messages. So we've got friendship, so another power number, 2-2. Two, two. So maybe you are in some sort of friendship connection right now. Um, you know, maybe you decided to just be friends. And we've got Divine Masculine. So he's coming into that energy. We saw the Emperor energy came out. So he's getting into that energy of being your Divine Masculine. And 7 and uh, 1 is 8, Abundance time so i i feel he's really trusting in divine timing here okay and he's really sort of trusting in the universe because he's in touch with his intuition and his crown chakra is open but he's really missing that intimacy with his feminine and not just in the physical way although that's how it comes across i, find, I feel he finds it hard to express emotional intimacy and again it's two and six eight and we've got the third chakra so solar plexus energy again so he's really working on that energy to be in that energy. And he will do that because we've got the emperor came, energy came out. So he will be in that good self-esteem, that self-worth issue. Then we've got the sixth chakra again, which is confirmation of his third eye awakening. And he's really connecting with his intuition, his higher self right now. And he wants to be authentic with you. And we had the mask card came out and maybe you won't. Neither of you are being authentic. He wants to show you his authentic self. And he knows that this is a multi-dimensional connection. He possibly connects with you in the 5D, in your dreams. So he's becoming aware of these different dimensions. And he's more sensitive than he lets on. And I feel that's why maybe he puts up these walls, these barriers. He could be an empath. He's actually very highly sensitive. I feel a lot of the masculines are very highly sensitive and very connected in once they allow themselves to be and it's another eight three and five is eight and he's working on getting that balance within himself <clears throat> the balance of the masculine and feminine energy is the positive and the negative you know he's really working on that energy right now and he wants to be transparent he wants to be open and honest and really be his true, authentic self. And, you know, show the feminine, the true him. And he wants to be kind. This is the colour of the heart chakra. Okay, you could have been very kind to him. This is the number 11 again. 2 and 9 is 11. So, again, he wants to show you that kindness, that kind side of him. And maybe he didn't do that before. And this is the weird thing I wanted to show you. In my deck, <clears throat> I've had this deck a while and I've got two number 21s. And when I was shuffling, there was one on the bottom and one on the top. So I thought I've got to take them. But I think what this is talking about is that you're both, both the masculine and feminine are both fearful of you losing your freedom <clears throat> within a connection. So that could have been part of the holding back energy here. And I'll read what it says. The energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential, boundless expression and bold exploration. <clears throat> and it's 21, which we're in the year 21. Okay, 2021. 
So I do feel that this is a year, okay? And you won't lose your personal freedom because you both respect and honour that in each other. You both feel the same about having your personal freedom. You can still have freedom in a relationship. And I feel maybe you've both been in relationships before where you didn't have that freedom, where you felt controlled somehow or hemmed in. And I just want to confirm that the message I'm getting is that you will have that freedom within this committed relationship because you both honour that in each other and you respect that in each other. And I just thought that was so bizarre that there were two of these cards and one is like the green and one is the um, the orange. So to me, it's like the love and the passion. So the love and the passion is there to support this. Beautiful. And we've got surrender and a gr the colour green again, the heart chakra. The energy surrender supports us to let go of illusionary control and yield to the flow of love exactly. So you're both going to surrender to this energy and you're both wanting this commitment. We've got commitment here. The frequency of commitment supports our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being and with unwavering belief. So you're both wanting this commitment here. So I just wanted to end with some self-love healing messages for the masculine right now. But beautiful energies here, okay? Beautiful energies. So be, keep positive, you know, because what we put out there, we attract. So be positive, be in that positive energy. And I know it's hard sometimes to keep positive when in, everything's pointing the opposite way. But please try and stay in that good energy of attracting what it is you truly desire. So let's get some messages for the masculine. So we've got understanding, to understand yourself. So I think he's really working on that right now. We've got the Four of Swords energy there. Listen to or play music, it soothes your soul. So music is very good, isn't it? It's very healing. You know, it's very uplifting as well. And patience is a virtue. So sometimes we need to learn that um, quality of patience. And connect with your inner child, nurture you. So we had that inner, inner child healing came up there so connect with your inner child there's lots of stuff on youtube to help you do that and overcoming obstacles and it makes you feel good and boost self-esteem so yes there may be obstacles in this connection but you can overcome them and i'm going to leave it on this message laugh every day it's the best medicine so even if you fake you know fake your laughter to start with <coughs> excuse me Try and laugh every day, even if you're laughing at yourself, because it will raise your vibration. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care.